Hello friends, welcome to a very rare, but I make these sometimes, just a tutorial video on how to get Gothic 2 to run in Windows 10. I started playing Gothic 2 recently on stream and I've had a lot of people ask me or ask the void in general, how is she playing this game on Windows 10? I can't possibly get it to run. So here you go. A very quick and easy to understand tutorial on how I did it. It's not magic. It's DiGiorno. No, it's not DiGiorno either. Although I am hungry and I could go for a pizza. All right. First of all, you will need to have Gothic 2 installed on your PC. As far as I know, it does not really work very well to use the CDs to install Gothic 2 and on Windows 10. I basically, I don't guarantee that it works with the CD version, okay? This is this is specifically for if you have the game installed through through GOG or for through Steam. I highly recommend getting the game through GOG following my link below because it supports the channel. And also just GOG.com is a fantastic website and everyone should know about it and everyone should shop there and it's just, I love it. Right, so the first step obviously is going to be to install Gothic 2 Gold Edition on your PC. You can no longer digitally buy Gothic 2 without the Night of the Raven expansion digitally. So this is the version that you will need to have. You can get it from here or if you really, really must, you can get it from Steam. Anyway, just, just shop on GOG.com. It's amazing. It's a great place to find retro games that you cannot find anywhere else anymore and they really do a lot of hard work to get these games up and running for us and available for purchase which is priceless to me so link down below um i'll have a link down below to gothic 2 on gog uh with my affiliate link attached so if you do end up purchasing it on gog it does support my channel so thank you very much if you decide to do so okay so first of all you install gothic 2 on your pc which i have done so here as you can see it doesn't matter where you put it just know where you put it because we're going to install a few other things and you need to know the directory okay so um for me for example it is the drive d slash games slash gog games and then gothic 2 gold and that's my path that i need to know about okay so the first thing you need to download which will be linked down below in the description, is the patch for the game. Uh, 2.600 is the one you want. So follow the link and then click on this. It will bring you to this page. Then you will download it like so. Like so and thusly and whatnot. This patch is only for Gothic 2 with the Knight of the Raven installed or gold versions. So, but I'm pretty sure the only way you would not have Knight of the Raven or the gold version is if you were trying to install this from the CDs. And I do not guarantee that that is going to work for you. So um, this is just, you know, just, just install it with GOG. It will work, okay, it will work. All right, so once you install, uh, once you download this file and you will run as administrator and uh, oh, right. It's in, it's in German, by the way. Just so I'll, I'll, I just walked myself through this on accident. Uh, I don't know. I don't speak German, but I just kind of guessed what it was saying and I was right. So uh, just make sure that this path is the path where your your game is installed. So in my case, it's going to be uh, D GOG Games Gothic 2 Gold instead of, you know, the old if you installed it from the cd it might be here but i like i said again i recommend getting the gog version just be safe it will work uh it's ten dollars totally worth it imo all right so then you install it right where your gothic 2 is installed i'm not going to do it because i already have this installed just go through that process once you're finished with that okay next thing you need is the player kit link down below in the description for this as well everything is including in this in description and i'm even going to number this for you so it's really easy to understand and go to each thing that you need okay right <clears throat> so the gothic 2 player kit dash 2.8 is the one that you want download this install it again <laughs> Do the same exact thing this one remembered uh because i've already installed it put it uh, just install it in the same path that your game is the base folder of your game again the next thing 
that we need to download is <clears throat> the system pack. So there's a lot of these, but the, you want to make sure that you get the right one, okay? Gothic 2 Knight of the Raven system pack-1.8 is the one you want. Don't get any of these other ones. It has to be the one with Knight of the Raven, okay? Unless for some weird reason you're using the original game that does not have Knight of the Raven, but then my entire instruction video has been pretty useless to you, so. <laughs> right, Knight of the Raven system pack. Download that. Run it. I agree. Reins uh, this is just this is just because I've already installed it, but install it again uh, to the location of your game. Uh, so <clears throat> you will need to select the component. I am going to select English because I speak English. If you speak any other language, I suppose you could click a different language, but I'm going to do English again browse to the location uh, where Gothic 2 is installed, install it there, and I'm just going to exit because I've already done it. Finally, in order to run the game, you will need to go into your Gothic 2 Gold folder, then navigate to the system folder, then you will find um, some new files here that were installed with the patches. The one that you want is the Gothic Starter.exe. You will want to go into the properties and uh, click run this program as administrator, just so your computer knows that it's safe to do so. And then if you wish, you could create a shortcut on your desktop um, so you can easily start this. This is going to be how you start the game. Do not start the game with gothic2.exe, just use the starter to start the game, okay? So when you do that, it will open this little launcher thing and it will verify the, the version that you have and um, give you some information and whatnot. And then you'll click play game. And a motorcycle will go by outside my office. And the game will play. It's beautiful. It's glorious. It's gothic. <laughs> right. And there you go. So one other thing of note you can change the resolution if you want um i believe there is a way to make the game run in 16 by 9 resolution so 10 1080 by um or 1920 by 1080 sorry if you really need that then you could do that um, but i personally like the game in more original looking resolutions rather than widescreen um so I actually choose to run the game at four by three, which it originally loaded in. And I just like the way the game looks and I, I like the retro feel and uh, everything like that. So, um, however, there is a chance that if you run it in four by three, it will, your monitor will stretch it. So it will look like, it will look like it's widescreen, but it's not really, it's just four by three with a stretched image, in which case it looks kind of poopy. Everyone will look a little bit fat. So, you know, mess with the resolution and see what you can get to look like how you want it to look like. Uh, but, you know, regardless of what the, what resolution the game is running in, it's working, right? You're able to play Gothic 2 on Windows 10 and it works like a charm. I have been playing it for a while. Um, uh, I, I probably like, I don't know, I've 10... 10 or 12 hours so far uh, with this method and I haven't had any crashes or any problems or anything like that and it's been it's been perfectly stable and uh, you know working like a charm so hopefully this video has helped somebody to play gothic 2 on windows 10 let me know if this was helpful for you in the combat in the combat <laughs> let me know in the combat below I play too many RPGs can you tell <laughs> let me know in the comments if this video is helpful for you if you um, want to see more content like this on my channel let me know also make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and if you'd like to watch me live playing gothic 2 every week i'm live on twitch in the evenings on tuesday nights check the link below for my twitch channel and my schedule for when i'm going to be playing gothic 2. also all of my gothic 2 content is uploaded onto the youtube channel here after the fact so you can also watch it in the past 
regardless, I hope this was helpful for you and uh, stay cheesy and I'll see you guys in the next video.